On my long play of Sonic Mania, I had not uh, gotten all the Chaos Emeralds yet, and since I've made those videos, I've actually played through a lot more of the game with all the different characters and gotten better at it and got the Chaos Emeralds. So I thought I would do one final kind of uh, let's play video on it where I show the true final boss of the game, since you can't get to that without the Chaos Emeralds. So let's take a look at that. So once you finish the game, you can go to Mania mode and it'll show clear. And it shows you at the bottom how many Chaos Emeralds you've gotten in your lives and stuff. And if you haven't gotten them yet, but you beat the game, you could just keep picking the Green Hill Zone and going back and getting the ring there so it's easier to, you know where it is pretty easily and you could get the Chaos Emerald and then save it and do it again until you've gotten them all. So it's pretty easy to get them once you've beaten the game. Um, so we have a Sonic. Knuckles and Tails, and I haven't done it quite yet with uh, Sonic and Tails. Once I finish the game with them, I'll try to get the Chaos Emeralds for them as well. But once you do that and it has this clear, you can pick whichever stage you want. So to get to the final boss encounter, we'll have to do the last stage again. Yeah, so this is a pretty tough area, but it's quite a bit easier once you got access to Super Sonic. And the way Super Sonic works is um, you'll have really fast momentum and basically invulnerability. Um, the only things that can really get you are bottomless pits can still kill you, and um, crush deaths will still get you, which are kind of lame. Here's the crush deaths. Alright, let's see. So we need to get enough rings before we can become supersonic, and once you are supersonic, you need to keep track of how many rings you have, because there will be a countdown going, and if it runs out, then you won't be supersonic anymore. Need to keep getting rings, um, so you don't let that happen if you can. Okay, so now we got 50 rings, we can go super. You can see the timer counting down, so we we'll just want to keep getting rings, see if we can keep it up through the whole level. And you see he's kind of hovers off the ground, so got a little flying action. Oops. And yeah, even spikes don't get you anymore. It's funny, the spikes are kind of like Sonic's big weakness if you play all the games. Yeah, so you could like blaze through the levels once you've gotten access to this though. It's the game just fun and easy. So keep your ring count up would be my main <laughs> advice. Because it stinks when you run out. Especially at a tough spot, like a boss battle. Hopefully I can keep getting some here. can still get crushed at this cheap spot, so be careful of that, I hate that spot. It's one of like, the few 
spots I get frustrated with on this game. Kind of reminds me of some of the spots I didn't care for on the old games. Oh no no. Waste in time. Oh, not again. Oh, wasting precious rings here, guys. There we go. Give me some rings, guy. Come on, come on, come on. It is a little harder to be precise with the movements just because your speed is like so great. Boy, I'm running low. Need more. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, yeah. I still don't want to get, like, crushed here. That would still be bad. Oops. A more. Yeah, Supersonic. It's pretty awesome, though. And there is a Super Tails and Super Knuckles, but they don't look cool. Then it was pretty disappointing that they're just kind of like a lighter color. They basically just look like faded knuckles and faded tails, and not gold. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of rings at the boss. Oh well. Let's try to take him out fast. You can wait to save your supersonic for like a better moment too. Which maybe I should have done, because now I have no rings to get me through the fight. Could just oops, darn it. Yeah, so if I was a little smarter about it. I might have just waited to use my supersonic when I was closer to the boss. So I didn't wouldn't find myself losing the rings like that. And then the boss would be over pretty quickly. The boss battles are kind of a, a joke once you have your, your supersonic going. Not that they're that hard anyway, once you get them. Oh yeah, you can jump earlier and get that life too, when you're riding that robot I found. There's a bunch of little stuff like that that I found playing through it a few times.
Whoa. What am I doing? Darn it. Oh, that's such a cheap, lame crush death. So there are still kind of those... The more I played it, the more I saw kind of those... Lame things that I thought were pretty much gone from the game. That they had kind of in older Sonic games. Getting crushed by lame hit detection boxes and stuff. Is there nothing up here? There must be something. I don't remember. Oh, there's a special. Which, once you're, uh. Once you already have them all, you don't really need to see. So. so we do have enough we could go super now if we want. Which, you gotta. It's kind of a trade off, because if you think you might get hurt and then you want to use it. And there's a good chance I will, so let's just use it now. Jump in there, push the buttons, and get going. Keep getting your rings. Oh boy. There we go. Throwing off all my momentum here. Yeah, it does feel pretty cool to be able to fly through everything like that. Low. Which of course I do not want. Alright, we're blazing through these.
And you could regain it if you get back to 50 rings again. Of course, it'd be nice if we didn't have to lose it. Oh, we lost it. And then you're left totally vulnerable if you lose it, because you have no rings. And now we don't have it for the final boss. But that's okay. We don't need it to beat him. Of course it would have helped. And, actually, we know he's not the final boss, because you'll see what happens. the hands are unavoidable. I've tried everything I could think of to get by them. So, I will just embrace them at this point. For the sake of time. And if you don't get those rings on that little area, they'll still be there when you go back, so sometimes it might be better to leave them in case you find yourself in a bad situation later where you really need some rain. Alright, we're wearing them down. So, this one, you don't need to find it. I knew that was coming. All you need to really do is avoid him. Because you don't need to fight him. Just need to wait out your time. That's how all these kind of work, though. Oh, I thought he was coming the other way. Usually I do a little better at like, keeping away from him. Not that it's a big deal. I'll get a couple hits in on him. If you stay on the same. meant to be a spin dash. Oh well. Whoa. Take me. This one I don't like because it's hard to keep track of. Darn it. I even knew which one he was coming in. There's enough time to move. Leave me my one room. Oh, I could have actually probably gotten him that time if I was a little more focused on my attack. Oh darn it. I got my rings. So let's not get hurt. That'd be nice, right? There we go.
So normally that's where the game ends, but this is where something special happens if you've gotten all your Chaos Emeralds. So this guy comes up in Knuckles' uh, game a little earlier too, as a boss fight. I don't really understand who it is. And then him and Robotnik seem to be fighting over this power, or this, uh, I don't know, time stone. So, you're probably going to be tempted to like fly around, since it's pretty awesome, but it's actually a lot easier to beat this if you stay on the ground and kind of keep them down here. And you'll have chances to get more rings um, in the air and stuff. The only way you're really going to lose your rings is by um, getting hurt a lot. And then each time you hit one of them, it switches off with the other one. So Robotnik and then, and then uh, this guy. And as soon as you hit him, the other one comes. And if you can hit him quick, you'll do much better, especially Robotnik. So just try to get him as they're coming out of the ground, that's another reason why I like to stay low instead of trying to fly around. Even though flying does look much cooler and make it a little more exciting, it's really hard. If you want to look cooler, then go for it, but if you want to have a more manageable battle, then I suggest kind of staying down here. Try to catch them early. So each time, I guess one of them drops the stone and the other one gets it and they come back at you. So avoid his hands, break through the other guy's barrier, avoid his um, blasts. The Robotnik one's actually quite a bit easier, because you're just avoiding those punches. This one's kind of hard sometimes, because you have to... And to fly, you're just kind of double jumping and you can float around. And just kind of control like you're moving. Oh! And you can do that kind of uh, fast dash move when you're flying. But I think it might take rings or something, because it always messes me up to do it. And then I find myself losing a lot of rings. So you, so you hit him, you lose that barrier, and then as he sh shoots each time, I think he loses it too. There we go. So now we got them both. And that was actually pretty tricky at first, um, before I kind of came up with my stay on the ground attack right away pattern. Then you get a little bit different ending here. There you go. Now you have the very long end credits. Here's a tip. If you hold down the button, they go by so fast you don't read them and you can speed through it. And uh, if you know who that other bad guy in the boss battle, what his name is or what his story is, just let me know, because I'd like to know. a village to raise a sonic. And that's it. 
At least you don't have a Robotnik laughing at you while juggling his remaining Chaos Emeralds. Alright, so that's uh, our Sonic Mania for now. Catch you later.